All right, so over the last six months, the most common question on all my social media platforms have been about my hardtail frame. People are wondering, like people are contacting my brother, Theo, and everyone they could think of about what kind of frame I'm riding. And I'm stoked to tell you guys that I can officially tell you that I'm riding a Cannondale frame and the, the Cannondale frame is called the Dave. So the Dave launched yesterday when you're watching this. Uh, the Dave is a slow, slope size latch hardtail dirt jump bike from Cannondale. They're selling them for about $1,100 for a complete bike and that's super sick. Like it's a super sick price and the frame is absolutely insane. Uh, I haven't been able to show anything like no stills, no close ups or anything about my frame but today we can and from now on i can finally show you a lot more about this frame and i can share some more info about you i'm gonna leave a link down below where you can get all the info you need about the new frame so uh, go check that out if you want some specific i wouldn't personally just up front be able to tell you more than i absolutely love the frame and it suits my riding perfect and i've been riding it for the last six months to try it out properly i absolutely love it i, I can't really think about a frame that would suit me better so I'm super super stoked about this perfect match I did with Cannondale and uh, yeah super happy about this and super happy to finally tell you guys uh, as I said it's been a bit of a pain in the ass to keep it a secret for you guys it's out and it's gonna take over the world go get your Cannondale Dave from now on it's sick and uh, hopefully the future for dirt jumping with Cannondale is bright and it's gonna keep on lasting for a while my personal favorite thing about the whole bike is actually the color it's a Nordor gray color it's also almost like the RS6 like the Audi RS6 color I lo absolutely love it and it's clean and it's not too much for the eyes and uh, yeah clean logos everything sounds like I'm just trying to sell the bike for you guys but I'm actually in love with it so uh, yeah you can take my word for that one of the bigger changes for me was because I was coming from the like the smallest dirt jump frame on the market to this one and this one I have a bit of a bigger like a bit of a longer top tube which is a very very beneficial I've noticed like all the bar spins and everything there's more room and everything feels a lot more sturdy as soon as I hit the dirt jumps and stuff but I still don't feel a difference when I do all my small and weird techie things so quite short in the back a bit longer in the front uh, and a lot more sturdy and stable on the bigger jumps I'd say so uh, yeah, definitely a good fit for me. Like it's techy, but still sturdier and uh, good on big jumps for and high high speed, high impacts and everything all that. I'm actually at Crankworks, but this video was supposed to be a travel video. We have filmed the whole travel when we drove all the way from Sweden down to Innsbruck, Austria. Me, Theo and Felix, and it's been quite a journey, but we're here now and we're gonna hop into the actual video with the travel and checking out the course for the first time because we're here for competing and we checked out the course we did a shit ton in this video but i just wanted to leave this message in before we start the video so hope you guys are stoked here's a quick b-roll of the bike Sure you watch the whole thing leave a like on the video uh, i will need all the love i can get now with the crankworks week to have my strength there on saturday when it's go time so yeah thank you guys let's get into the video what you can see behind me that's the motherland that's sweden and what you can see over there that's some other bullshit country now that's denmark we're leaving sweden we're on our way to, to uh, innsbruck austria and we're gonna ride crankworks i'm together with theo i'm together with felix yeah, I'm gonna bring these shits on a little road trip. We're gonna go to Crankworks, have a good time there, ride a contest and do shit, and then we're gonna travel through Europe and do some riding with all the boys and friends and hit up some cool spots. So uh, yeah, hit us up if you want us to come ride your spot. But basically, we're just gonna document this whole little road trip we're doing, and we're starting on a boat, because I'm on a boat. Got it. We're 
in Denmark now and that was the only stop we're gonna do here in Denmark just to piss on the ground and now we're gonna keep on going we're gonna head to the next ferry that is gonna take us to Germany where we're gonna drive for like another two hours to Berlin and then we're gonna sleep there for a night at a hotel and then we're gonna keep on going for another day and then we're gonna go to Innsbruck the other day so Since life seems to be against us at all times, uh, we managed to miss the ferry and we have two hours to wait here in batshit nowhere in Denmark. So we're basically just gonna sit here on the bench, gonna enjoy the sun for a little bit and just chill next to the water. Seems nice, but it's actually quite cold. But this is karma for pissing on the Denmark. This is karma for pissing on Denmark for sure, but I mean like they're treating us pretty good with the sun. It could be worse. We're, with, we're heading from Denmark to Germany. Oh, it's so windy. windy. Oh, it's insane. Like, <laughs> we're closing in from Germany. We're gonna sleep there tonight, and yeah, we're exhausted. It's been already 12 hours in the car, so I made it to Germany. We're gonna check in on Radisson Blue here. Oh, oh shit. shit. Anyways, my computer broke down, so I'm carrying this huge iMac around now when traveling. It's probably not that convenient, but anyways. We're gonna hop in here now, get some sleep. It's actually like 1 a.m. in the morning, so we're gonna get some sleep and then wake up and get seven more hours of driving tomorrow morning. Oh, 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 shit! I, I, I. Shit! God damn! Deep. in Germany somewhere I don't know we are heading down to Munich to sleep another night there but yeah basically we drove all the night yesterday and yeah we're starting to get pretty sick of driving this long but yeah we got like another five hours in the car I think until we hit Munich and then we're gonna enjoy a bear there live life a little bit Alright, we uh, finally made it to Innsbruck, Austria after a super super long, a couple of hectic days of just driving, 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 sleeping and then now we're finally here. Me and Theo are sleeping in there, uh, Felix is sleeping here because he's snoring like a f got the computer set up here for some editing and then we have the balcony which is quite sick to be honest. I mean look at all this, literally walk out and you see all of this. It's quite amazing and then we have a pool down there that we're gonna jump into now. The one that hops into the pool first gets a Wagyu burger on the other place tonight for free. Bruh. <laughs> the Wagyu burger see, is insane here in Innsbruck. Why is he walking in? Where's Till? What happened? I got stopped in the lobby because I didn't have my mask. Oh no! The palest man on earth. Oh my god, what a... <laughs> what was that jump? <laughs> You got the Wagyu though. Okay, if you make it in 30 seconds, you get one too. Where is he? 32, 33, 34, 35. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't make it, but I feel bad now. So both of the boys are getting Wagyu burgers for dinner. And uh, But before we do that, I'm just gonna go down in the pool a little bit and then we're gonna head to the course and check that out quickly. because. Obviously, we need to check the course because since we're here in Innsbruck. Hi, uh, we're here at Crankworx Innsbruck. As per usual, uh, the course is exactly the same. It's not, I haven't changed anything, but 
yeah looking good i mean it's good for us because we know how the course is running so but we're gonna w walk down and show you guys some perspectives on how big it is for those of you that are new to the channel you haven't seen the course walks yet so we're gonna do a typical quick course walk before we go ride some local trails here in innsbruck uh, like what i see here last year the big problem because we were riding in the fall and it was super wet and super like moist overnight so it got super soft here in between so if you had like 30 centimeters to land on if you landed aside on the sides you were done for this one this is the big dirt to dirt jump and uh yeah you need to be landing on the top there and then pin it to be able to do some flips on this one fucking massive Stand there and then throw out the big berm and then you're cooking in here same as always i feel like this one is not that big i think this is the biggest jump on course to be honest like com not the dirt to dirt is bigger but this is the most amount of air time i think a left hip it's not very usual that we have big hips on the courses so it's quite unique here second right hip looks massive as well if you're not really like into bikes you would probably think that this is the feature of death complete death because obviously we're jumping up on a high height it's quite narrow and stuff and then we're hopping out well it kind of is the shittiest one but like when it comes to scariness but it's not that bad you hop into it and then you break because if you don't break you overshoot it and if you overshoot from all the way up there you're gonna be landing down there and that's quite a height difference but good thing we've done our all the riders have done their strength training and then with the last jump which is like it's bigger than the one at home but not much bigger i'd say like the last mile jump we have yeah the craziest thing about this like i i mean the course like I've, I've been competing for over 10 years now so i know all that shit but like look at this look at all the mountains around everything it's so sick either i'm getting old and starting to notice that stuff because usually i'm not or i'm just getting too used to this i don't know i know you're gonna say i'm way too old that's the course not much more to say like most of you guys already know about how it looks uh, it's actually Monday, so we're not even riding it tomorrow. We're riding it on Wednesday for the first time, so we're gonna go ride some trails tomorrow, and uh, we'll see. Either we include it in this video, or we just put it in some other video. I don't know. So to be here, Crankworx 2021, first contest of the year. It's been a while since we're out in the contest circuit, so I'm super excited to get on with it. <laughs>